did you ever at any point in your life tell someone that you were going to be inheriting money? No. Okay. Did you ever tell people that you were a German heiress? No. Like, no one introduces yourself like that. Like, what kind of sentence is that? But it's completely ridiculous. Where do you think that narrative started? Well, I think um, people like kind of like put together the story after the DA's office released the um, the original press release from when I got arraigned, like in October 2017. I guess I like that would be my assumption, but I don't know. It's hard for me like to track this because I was just in jail that whole time. Right, but even but, prior to you having anything to do with the law, like how did people think that you were supporting this very expensive life in New York? Well, I would, like, I cannot, like, testify to what people are assuming about me. I don't know. <laughs> so when you're picking up tabs, think. like, no one's, no one ever asked you, like, where did you get all this money from? I mean, I never was doing, like, anything so super crazy. I feel like there's just people who are, like, spending, who were spending way more money than I did. I feel like going to a hotel and spending $63,000, like, that's kind of a lot, Anna. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was not, like, on a daily basis. That was just, like, a one-time thing. But so even living not... in a hotel, that's, that's, in New York City, that's a lot of money. I actually don't feel that way because I know so many people who live in a hotel, and it's actually cheaper than, like, renting an apartment where you have to commit for, like, a whole year and you can't travel. Did you choose to live in a hotel because in New York City, like, you have to show your finances if you're going to get a lease? And, like, that would have been hard? I well, I just didn't want to, like, commit for a year because I knew I was not going to be in one place for one year. Like, okay. even even because of my visa, because I had to leave all the time. And I just didn't want to, like, yeah, being just stuck in one place. So you think so that everyone like around you just assumed this girl's really rich, we don't know where she has this money, and you never explained where you got all the money from? I mean, I never asked anybody where they get their money from. So, like, I never wondered about how anybody's paying for their bills. So I just assumed people would be, like, approaching right. the same way. I really don't care. Yeah, no, your <laughs> New York experience is very different than mine. So no one ever asked you point blank about how you had any money. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I guess, like, maybe you'll, fr like, you'll have, like, you have a different friend circle. Oh. I can't imagine. And it's like, or like the people, I remember people like being pretty secretive. I don't know. It's just nobody's business. I know people who like still, I don't know, their husband is paying, um, they like whatever, the spousal support. And like some of the things you just don't want to be vocal about. And, um. But see, even you just knew they were getting their payment from their partner. Like you kind of still know. It's shocking that no one was ever like, where the f are you getting this, Anna? Well, nobody was asking me that to my face. <laughs> how do you think, though, this whole narrative that you did have all this money, like, how do you think that benefited your life? Um, I guess it's just easier, like, to ask somebody, I don't know, for 20 million. <laughs> so it was easier for you to walk into a room and ask for more money because people assumed you had a lot of money? I guess, yeah. Other than changing your name, what about your life when you were living in New York did you lie about? Did you lie about, like, your family's background or wealth or how much money you had? Um, I guess I did. I mean, I cannot, like, tell an exact instance, but I'm sure. But all of that, I never, like, told any senseless lies. Unless there were, like, a bank, so. <laughs> so the purpose of you lying, though, was to get something that would benefit you. Definitely, yeah. So it's like if I were just to meet, I don't know, like some girl in a social situation, like I really don't care what someone thought. First of all, it's none of their business. Um, second of all, there's nothing you can do for me. <laughs> you just like walked through these doors into some of the world's largest financial establishments, asked for money, and they gave it to you. When you would walk into these rooms with these men, Anna, like what was your vibe? Like were you super outspoken and loud and confident or were you kind of coy about it and you kind of let like the accent and the mystery speak for itself 
I don't even know. I think I'm like the same I am right now with you. I don't know. They just like no other mode. I'm not like a performer. Like so. You are. You're I very just, confusing. <laughs> really? Like you just, just yeah. Like, there's just nothing else behind this. I don't know. <laughs> nothing else behind it, Anna. Absolutely nothing is behind this. 